through your own experience and all uh, the interviews that you've done around the subject, can you help illuminate for us the grief process? It's different for each person. I, um, I didn't cry at the funeral. I'm very task oriented. So he was gone physically and emotionally. Uh, then I tended to all the tasks uh, because that's just my nature. I had the, sh the bathroom remodeled, I had my shoulder replaced, all the things that had gotten set aside. And then it hit me. And then is when I had my crying times. But then I had a great emptiness as well. And even though I have a very full social life with lots of people and I was still invited and went and, and people were very kind to me, there was this emptiness and one, I have two daughters, one daughter recommended that I go for grief counseling, which I did. And the other daughter said, why don't you get a cat? And they're very low maintenance. So I thought, oh, that would be a good idea. It would take uh, my attention to another direction. I would be caring for another living thing, but not a dying living thing. And so I got a cat and I like to say, um, I, I got a rescue cat who rescued me because then suddenly I was so concerned with taking care of him and taking him to the vet and getting the right, right food and something to hug and to love. I still have that cat with me and uh, it's been a long time. And when he goes, I don't know what will happen because he's not in very good shape. And he turned out not to be a low-maintenance cat. He's the highest-maintenance cat I know. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. He's mine, and I love him. So that helped a lot, having um, a, a pet. That was helpful with the grieving process.